Okay. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh, five, six, stop. seven, oh. eight, nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> his first birthday without Lena. Uh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, do I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm going to speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? No, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank, it happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it, it's fine. It's fine, he thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own, we do not need your help. Nikki, 
I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. Follow me, bro. Dead set? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay, I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. Deadsec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. I'll make sure I'm armed and dangerous. private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. 